This is a Perfecto metal shaper, hand operated, uh, probably from 40s or 50s, something like that. It's English. Um, there's the basic operation. I, I want to apologize. It's set up on a, a rather flimsy kind of a bench. It should be set up on a nice, permanent, well-mounted, sturdy bench. So it's kind of wobbly and stuff, but I think you can get the idea. This is the basic operation. I'll show you some close-ups of this thing, especially this. This little interesting me uh, ratchet mechanism. See it turning back here? And that has to do with these little fingers here. These are, of course, adjustable, so you can put them for, uh, you know, position them for wherever you might need them to be. They also, this also acts as a stop, which I think is a little bit unfortunate. You can tell this has been brazed and repaired, not by me, um, but probably it was broken off because somebody over, over pressured that thing. Anyway, it's turning and it's advancing this way. Now, if you reverse this little gizmo here, it'll go the other way because of the way that finger is angled down inside there, there's a little pinion that's engaging the gear and the pinion is straight on one side and, and sloped on the other so when it's this way it does one thing and when it's the other way it does the other thing so now it's going the other way and you don't have any control for how much feed you get it's a very small amount of feed, I'll show you that in close-ups too and then, of course, you can set it here in between, and now it's not engaging at all. This is the only thing this is doing now is acting as a stop. It's not turning the feed mechanism at all. And you, of course, still have to hand feed here. You can angle it to cut a V-shaped thing. Slow, but a very, very precise way of doing things. So let me show you some close-ups. Let me show you the operation of this little uh, pinion mechanism here, feed mechanism. First of all, it's now in the loose position. You can tell because that little pin is there. When it goes this way or that way, then it's engaging one way or the other. Uh, that way, it's, neutral. it's in neutral. It's not driving the little gear. And you can see the little gear is not turning there. Now, if you put it this way, that frees up its spring-loaded little pinion in there and it's you can see it's pushing the gear that way okay let's reverse that and now it'll push it the other way so that's what's going on with that very simple let me show you the operation with it as it would actually work and you can see it popping. You can see it bouncing up and down right there. That's all there is to that. Now let me show you this thing actually cutting some metal. Yeah, it's taking a cut now. You can feel it. Maybe too deep. Oh yeah. <laughs> pretty deep oh man <laughs> oh I am not a machine well you can see what it's doing now I think it's actually putting a pretty nice finish on it still think I'd rather use my milling machine <laughs> oh geez that's hard work Cutting that little piece of metal off there. Anyhow, that's how it works.